Back, cybersecurity and computer science education becoming more important than ever. And now Rutland High School's Marine Junior ROTC will lead the charge in the field. Yeah, they're joining a national Marine Junior ROTC cohort to implement cybersecurity curriculum in next year's program. Ramey Cohen is live in studio with more information on the program. Yes, Frank and Lori, it's a partnership between the Marine Corps Junior ROTC and Computer Science for All. Rutland High School's Marine Junior ROTC program is one of five schools across the country already selected for the cohort. When people um, see um, computer classes, computer team, they think, oh yeah, geeks. But you see me, I'm not a geek at all. You, you wouldn't see me and expect me to be in a computer class. Alea Anderson, a rising senior at Rutland High, is part of Cyber Patriot. It's an extracurricular team that teaches students the basics of cybersecurity, ethics, and behavior in a virtual domain. Anderson says she hopes being a part of the team will help her get college scholarships. With cybersecurity, everything's going digital. You know, I want to be in the military. You know, we um, we over crisis about oil. So I really wanted to see how cybersecurity would affect me if I would like it or not. I ended up liking it, so I stayed. Keith Allen is the senior Marine instructor at Rutland and says these are necessary skills to learn. Everybody's focused on technology. Um, and in our particular school, we use technology, but we don't teach much on how to protect that technology, how to safeguard it. Allen says being selected for the cohort will help them better teach the subject and help students like rising junior Jamari and Fry apply what they learn to their future. Just stand out, like do something different. Like y'all already on your phone, so you might as well learn what it's about. Fry is in the Cyber Patriot program too. He says he wants to explore how the world works with computers. Now that Rutland is joining this cohort, students like him can take part in the College Board's Advanced Placement Program. They'll start the AP Computer Science Principles class in their freshman year and work through it throughout high school. I want to take this class because it's something different, it's something new, like technology only improving. So it's good to have this knowledge. If students pass the AP exam when they finish the course, they could get college credit for it. Keith Allen says he hopes this program helps students see they can achieve their dreams and move into a career they may think is out of reach. Thanks a lot, Remy. Allen says instead of testing for college credit, students can also seek industry certification to hopefully get a job out of high school.